on your side. NBC 12 News starts now. We begin now in Chesterfield, where a man is now arrested in the accidental shooting of his neighbor. Police say 25 year old Devante Fernandez shot a woman in the apartment next to him as he was handling a gun. Now this happened just before 9 p.m. last weekend. The victim had to be rushed to an area hospital. She is expected to survive. Right now, Fredericksburg police are looking for a missing teenage boy who has been reported missing before. 16 year old Kevin Hernandez Funes was last seen on November 9th on Huey Court. Now that's not far from the Virginia Welcome Center. He was wearing a black shirt, gray baseball cap and black Timberland boots. He's five feet, two inches tall, weighs 130 pounds and has black hair and brown eyes. So if you think you see him, call Fredericksburg police at the number on your screen. It's another chilly one this afternoon, but the roller coaster ride of temperatures doesn't stop here. So meteorologist Megan Wise is standing by. Hey, Megan. Hey, Brent. Yeah, yesterday was warm. Today we're cool. Brent. All right, no umbrellas, but maybe a jacket for dinner. Thank you, Megan. Well, right now, Richmond police are in the beginning stages of a death investigation that's unfolding in the city south side. Officers were called here to Kingsley Avenue near Broad Rock Boulevard just after one this morning. Investigators are still trying to figure a motive here. They're also working on a suspect, so stay tuned. We're following a crime alert out of Richmond where police are searching for a man who groped a woman while she was walking her dog. It happened just after eight last night on Grove Avenue, about two blocks away from VCU. Police say the man approached that woman from the opposite direction, groped her. She yelled at him and he ran away. VCU is reminding students stay alert and while police continue to look for the suspect in last night's crime, there will be an increased police presence in that area. Well, a suspect is in a Richmond courtroom now after police say he led officers on a pursuit that ended with him crashing into two state police cars. Marlon Johnson is facing several charges, including two counts of assault on a law enforcement officer. The officers who were in those cruisers are doing fine. Look for updates on our free NBC 12 News app. Well, this weekend, loved ones will lay to rest. The man struck and killed by a police car as he crossed Route 460 in Waverly. It's been three days since that tragedy, and the grief is growing for the family of 47-year-old Antonio Green. At the intersection where he died, there's a memorial set in his honor. And for the first time, his mother is speaking publicly about the crash that claimed her son's life. When my son comes. The family is also waiting on an autopsy. We reached out to the Waverly Police Department and haven't heard back. So far, no charges have been filed. Well, police in Prince George County need your help to find this man. Witnesses saw him shoplifting from the A-plus convenience store on South Crater Road, according to investigators. Officers believe he was staying at the nearby Roadway Inn with this woman. They were last seen driving a white pickup truck, and it's also believed they may be involved with other crimes in the Tri-Cities. So if you can help police track them down, give Crime Stoppers a call. All right, heads up now to drivers in Chesterfield who use Route 288 and the Powhite Parkway. As part of an ongoing paving project, VDOT is closing the northbound 288 ramp that leads to Powhite Parkway. VDOT plans to pave the ramp until 4 this afternoon. So your best route is to take 288 to Lux Lane all the way to the courthouse and then hop on the Powhite exit from courthouse. And in Richmond, expect a lot of traffic during the evening rush if you're around the VCU Siegel Center today. It's because of that huge basketball game between VCU and UVA. Tip-off is at 4 o'clock. Now, this game has been sold out for months. And with all of the GRTC Pulse construction around that area, the game being so close to rush hour, you should expect some slowdowns on Broad from Belvedere to Harrison. Police will be in that area to direct traffic. Well, people living in a Pennsylvania senior living community are forced out into the streets overnight as their homes went up in flames. And we have Tracy standing by with traffic. All right. All right, I want you to take a look at this now. Investigators trying to figure out what sparked a massive fire at a nursing home in Pennsylvania. At least 20 people were hurt in that massive blaze. And emergency officials say at least 160 residents were evacuated into the bitter cold. So Katie Zachary is on the scene tracking the latest into what happened. 
Great reporting there, Katie. Thank you. Now to the very latest on the sexual misconduct allegations against Al Franken. The U.S. Senator is now asking his colleagues to investigate his own behavior. Senator Franken is accused of forcibly kissing and groping a radio anchor during a USO tour in 2006. There's even a photograph that shows him touching her while she's sleeping. Now Franken is apologizing, calling his behavior disgusting, and he promises to cooperate with an ethics committee investigation. Meantime, there are new signs that sexual misconduct allegations against Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore may be taking a toll. A poll just out shows Moore is trailing his Democratic rival by eight points with likely voters. But Moore remains defiant with many pastors speaking out in support of him. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says President Trump believes the people of Alabama should decide who their next senator should be. Well, the new iPhone is the most expensive on the market, and to make matters worse, it also costs hundreds to repair. Still ahead, what you can do to keep from breaking the bank if your phone breaks. Plus, Megan Wise is tracking today's weather forecast. Hey, Megan. Hey, Brent. Yeah, we're Brent, back to you. Great advice as always. Thank you, Tracy. Well, Sky 12 giving us a bird's eye view of the busiest Amtrak station in the south. The Staples Mill Road Amtrak in Henrico is going to be busier next week with Thanksgiving travelers. So parking will be a big problem because of all of the construction going on there. We spoke to Amtrak officials who shared these tips on how to make your trip easier next week. We are urging. Now, she also encourages you to check the status of your train online. Also, be aware of your surroundings and keep track of your bags at all times. Well, the iPhone 10 is Apple's most breakable phone, and it's also the most expensive to fix. Now, that begs the question, is phone insurance worth it? A cracked iPhone 10 screen will set you back $279 and other damages could cost you over 500 bucks. So all of the major wireless carriers now are offering phone insurance plans for a monthly fee, but many people don't want to add any more to their monthly bills. Experts say a good option is to buy protection plans from retailers like Best Buy or companies like Square Trade. They're the also, many credit cards will double your phone warranty or offer added protection if you use that credit card to pay your phone bill. Homeowners and rental insurance policies may also cover certain types of phone damage. Well, tickets are now on sale for Tim McGraw and Faith Hill's upcoming show at the Richmond Coliseum. The Grammy winners are coming to our area on May 31st. Mark your calendar for their Soul to Soul World Tour. Now, we should mention, if you buy a ticket to their upcoming show, you'll get a copy of their new album for free. We've got all of the details on our 12 About Town blog. Also, local country singer Tony Jackson will perform his first show at the National in Richmond tonight. All right, Jackson quickly helped protect people running from the gunfire during the Las Vegas shooting. Colleen Quigley shared his emotional story, which we have now on our NBC 12 app. Tony will be back in his hometown of RVA playing at the National on Broad Street. That concert is at 8 tonight. Now to Henrico, where the Richmond Raceway is holding a yard sale tomorrow. It comes after the company dropped the word international from its name this year. Now this is a sneak peek of the items up for grabs, which include old signage, t-shirts, and photos. In addition to its name change, the Raceway is currently undergoing a $30 million renovation. So take a look. If you want a piece of the Raceway's history tomorrow, there are early bird hours for season ticket holders. The general public gets access starting at 11 a.m. Accurate. Brent? All right, Megan, thank you. All right, this next segment is going to make me leave the newsroom and head to the gym because check out Dory Smith right now. If you're into build, bodybuilding and physical fitness, you want to listen up. There's an event coming up on December 3rd. It's called the OCB Capital City Classic, yes. which is really a bodybuilding, figure, physique, and bikini competition. Yes, absolutely. Tell us all about it. Okay, so the um, OCB Capital City Classic, last year was our first show. But it's a part of the uh, Organization for Com Competition Bodies, um, and they do shows throughout the entire country. Um, so this year, we're happy to bring the show back to Richmond. And last year, we had about 80 athletes to participate in the show with over 405 spectators. Now, this is December 3rd, so if I'm at home saying, hey, I think I want to, you know, get into this, what <laughs> do I do? How do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still taking registrations for the show. Um, uh, guest athletes can register up until November the 26th. 
Um, so just go online at ocb.com, uh, ocbonline.com, I'm sorry. Click on the events tab, click on OCB Capital City Classic. And, you know, also for anyone who wants to come out and just see the show, you can, you know, select for tickets as well. Also for mm -hmm. some entertainment. Yes. Well, let me ask you this. People might say, well, I'm not in as good a shape as her or the young men I just saw on the screen. <laughs> can I still participate? Should I? You could, absolutely. Um, what it is is that when you see a lot of these men and women on stage, a lot of them have been through a fitness journey of some sort. Um, a lot of times when they get on stage, it is a testament to what they have been through, the trials and tribulations in their lives to even get to the stage. So don't be afraid to show that off. If you've been putting in that hard work in the gym and sticking with your nutrition, absolutely. Well, I've been putting in the work, but I need to eat a little better. <laughs> so we may call you for tips. Me too. Tell us about where this is and what date again, remind us. Okay, um, it's gonna be held at George H. Moody Middle School, and that's on Whitman Road, 7800 Whitman Road, and it's gonna be on December 2nd. We do have two parts to the show. The men will start at 10 o'clock a.m. and the women at 3 o'clock p.m. So come on out and join us. And there you have it, Dory Smith. Thank you so much yes, for this. Thank I think you, you even inspired me. Yes, come on <laughs> out. <laughs> we'll be right back. Smart room. Gotcha, but be careful around VCU tonight. Yes, tonight, 4 o'clock tip off. Gotcha, very good. All right, guys, that's our time. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you at 12 News, first at 4.